Hello everybody, this is Gabe from the Modcast. I just wanted to let everybody know that the trailer brake controller we installed in this video actually did not work. This is still the correct install procedure for a universal controller. So we don't recommend the controller, we do recommend the video. Thanks everybody for watching. Welcome back to the Modcast. Today we're working on uh, my new truck, the Sir 2021 Ford Ranger. Probably be the first video we've, we'll have uh, done about it. We talked about it on the podcast yesterday. Got some tint done, we got a brow done. Uh, we got more stuff coming. Already done our basic couple of things, like we like rain guards, like our weather techs, so we already got those done. But today's the first essential thing. We're gonna be installing a trailer brake controller, which uh, this is not the one that Ford usually uses. They usually use the Red Arc, which is an Australian company, but I can't afford the Red Arc and they're all currently back ordered. So, we are going to go about getting this cart installed. I've already jumped under the dash here and done a couple of things. So that little piece of blue tape right here holds these four wires. These are your four pigtails for doing the uh, trailer brake controller for the Red Arc, which is a direct color to color connection system. And I can't find anywhere. Uh, on the internet as to what each one of these wires actually does so i've been trying to confirm them um, i would normally check my owner's manual if we had that but this is a imported truck so the whole thing's in french <laughs> so i gotta go in and do it myself i've already gone in and confirmed that the purple wire with the white trace here is the brake applied wire so basically when you have your multimeter grounded up here and you have power on this wire and you press the brake pedal. We have 12 volts. When you release the brake pedal, it's off. Uh, we're next one we're gonna check. Generally when you're doing trailer wiring, white is going to be your ground. So I'm gonna check this one in just a second. Actually here. Set your multimeter to continuity. And I have it grounded. So we check. So, uh, yes, so white wire is our ground. So we know white chassis ground, purple white brakes applied. I'm assuming that this wire here, which is like a, what is that? I can't tell if that's got a trace on it. I think that's yellow with an orange trace is most likely gonna be our 12 volt hot. I think the blue is the pass through to the back. I'm gonna make a couple of connections real quick, cut a couple of these heat shrink pieces off, and then we'll be back in a minute with some more answers on that. We're back. So, just a quick little update where, where I'm at. So, I got these two connected here. When you get your aftermarket wiring harness for your trailer, uh, the one we got was a Kurt brand, which, oh, apparently I ripped it a little bit, but this is the one we're gonna be running right here. So we bought this harness that comes with it separately. So it's a direct plug and play to this harness here. This harness on the connector end up there had this little tag. So you wanna just make sure you do your correct connections off of the wires that you find to the wire colors here. We have purple and white to the red wire, which is our brake applied, white to white for ground. Uh, then we have our yellow wire here. So grounded your meter set to volts DC and then you come in here make connection and we have 12.64 volts hot on here so one, my camera decided to cut out on me I apologize uh, one last thing if you are going to be doing this the four wires on the factory pigtail are not the same length and I like all my wires to be neat and have all of the connections made in the same spot do not cut them all at the same time. The yellow with the trace is 12 volt hot and the white is ground. If you cut them at the same time, you're gonna weld and blow fuses and we don't wanna do that. Last thing we wanna check is we have the blue wire here, which should be the pass through. So the way we're gonna test that is with our ground hooked up. If I can get both hands in here. We're going to touch the end of the wire there and I have no volts. So we're gonna change our multimeter to continuity again. Make 
sure it works. Go over here and tap. And we have no beep. So we know for a fact that this wire is not powered or grounded. So we know this are passed through. So at the end of this, our black wire is gonna go to the yellow with the trace and blue wire to blue wire. And then we're gonna get our controller mounted and we should be all set. All right, last little video on our saga here. We have our connections made. I'm gonna end up running this over. I just got out of sitting in the truck. We think right here is gonna be perfect for us when we're sitting in it. Should be right out of the way. So just get the wires all tucked up out of the way. Be careful not to interfere with steering components, brake components, or uh, your gas pedal if your vehicle has like a cable driven one, not an electric one like this. We are back. We have a nice mounted trailer brake controller. I added some loom to the factory harness here because when we went up under the dash, and this little piece of metal here. And I just didn't want it to be wires directly rubbing on metal. It's a good way to ground stuff out. Don't want to do that. But our wires ran, come around, follow. They go back behind this panel. Uh, there's a couple zip ties holding it up out of the way up here. Connects over into here and should be, yep, everything works. Little dot's gonna come on on the top when you're actually applying the trailer brake. It shows that your load that you have it set to. But yeah, if you have any questions, just let us know. This has been the Modcast.